Hi everybody, and welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. We are back in the hidden valley of Rivendell, where Elrond dwells. In the last homely house, the sun is just about to rise. Look, oh man. It is a beautiful day. A beautiful day here in Rivendell. It's almost dawn. And uh, we've got some stuff to do here. We, we've got this pipeweed pouch that we found last time. Uh, the barrel of pipeweed along the road. We're gonna f we're gonna give that to somebody here in Rivendell. I'm not sure exactly who. Uh, we've also got a couple quests here, right? Barbenthier, do you have something to say to me? Yeah, you're a beautiful man, beautiful elf man, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You definitely are. Elcott, has, it has become clear that your loyalties stand firmly with our house. The elves of Rivendell are grateful for your service, and already a few of our bards take up their quills prepared to spread the knowledge of your deeds in harmonious melodies. That is righteous, Barbenthier. Really, really righteous. After some discussion, the defenders of Imlad Galer were instructed to welcome you to our sanctuary high up on the hills overlooking the last homely house. Imlad Galer to the south. Across the falls. We need to talk to Arthur Bane. Okay. We will definitely do that. Thanks, Barbenthier. That's totally that's totally cool. They're gonna write stories about me uh, and turn them into songs. That is just great. Okay. Now, who do we need to give this pipeweed to? Is it um, perhaps one of the famous hobbits that uh, everybody knows and loves so well? Perhaps in Bilbo's room? Oh yeah, look, here we are! Frodo! Oh look. Our heart is heavy in the face of such evil. It's because he's wearing the ring. He's wearing the ring around his neck! I can see it! It's right there! Oh no, it's uh, I think it's under his cloak or something. Frodo, how you doing, buddy? A barrel of pipeweed? Just lying by the road? I know that Pippin would bring a whole barrel of the stuff with him if he could. But I'm fairly certain he didn't on this trip. Okay, he said his supply of pipeweed was running low. Gandalf, do you want it? We are safe for the present, but soon we will be thrust again into danger. Alright. Nice talking to you, Gandalf. Oh, and there's Sam. Peregrine Took. Hello there. How strange and lucky! My pouch is just about empty. Thank you, friend. Oh my gosh, we get our own pipeweed. Oh my gosh, the choices! Shire Sweetleaf, Summer Greenweed, and F Wizard's Fire. Oh my gosh. Should we take the Wizard's Fire? I mean, it's it's a rare item. It's it's purple. That obviously means it's better than the Summer Greenweed and the Shire Sweetleaf. Oh, I you know what, though? As much as I want to breathe in the Wizard's Fire, I need some Shire Sweetleaf to remind me of home, right? Mariadoc? Mariadoc Brandy Buck. Uh, should we, should we smoke a puff right now? Just like right in front of them, blow it in their faces. I think that sounds good. Shire Sweet Leaf. Let's have a smoke. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's really great. Oh, yeah. Nice and smooth. Some Shire Sweet Leaf. Oh, here it goes. What the heck? Ooh. <laughs> Did you guys just see that? Those were the most intricate smoke rings I think I've ever seen. Let's do it again. Holy smokes. Peregrine. Mariadoc. Samwise. Sam, come over here. Please. Please, check this out. Gandalf, you would be so proud of me. I know you can, you can like, make dragons and stuff, but check this out. I got, like, little butterflies. I can blow a little butterfly smoke rings. No? Does anybody care, Frodo? Oh, God. Gandalf, you're like a broken record. Well, there we go. We've got our uh, special special pipe weed that we can blow butterfly smoke rings with. And uh, we need to head to Imlad Galer, so let's go do that. We've also got... I, for some reason, I have this quest in my, in my quest log. Foul Hounds. It's level 39 repeatable. Uh, we've killed two out of six. Look, I don't care about that right now. Um, I, I am ready to head to Imlad Galer. So I think we need to loop, like, around the waterfall. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Look at that. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. It really is. 
Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? We gotta go, like, see, there's a little cave, like, right over there. So we're gonna head over the bridge and through uh, the woods to Emlad Galer we go. Right? Let's do it. Oh, man. It's kind of, like, nestled back here. See, this is, like, where you go when you die. I mean, you don't die, right? You just, um, you just, uh, run away, I guess, because you, you have lost all your morale. Oh, what a, what a nice big waterfall. It's great. Imlad Galer, we're here. Are we here? Oh, look. Oh, look at the view from here. We can actually see, like, all the way across the valley. Look, there's the, the misty mountains off in the distance. Oh, man. That's great. Okay, let's head through here. It's like this like winding tunnel and it's very dark in here too oh there's like some weird lighting in here right why is it red right here is there lava also the, the textures I don't know if you guys can see these textures uh, it's kind of ridiculous though <laughs> uh, but there's a nice waterfall in the background and of course this statue it should be me this should be a statue of me We'll fix that. We'll we'll get that taken care of. Don't you worry. Defenders, uh, if you can pass the message along, I want to uh, take down that statue and erect a new statue of Alcott on top of his mighty steed smasher and uh, holding a mug of ale. Right? I think that sounds just great. Just great. Okay. So this is for, like, um, the elves of Rivendell. Like, the faction. Right? Is that right? Atherbane, do you have something to say to me? We are pleased to have you among us, Alcott. You are welcome to make use of any services we can provide. Okay, what services can you provide? Oh, well, there's all this stuff. Prize Rivendell Steed. And we cannot buy any of it. What about this guy? My standing is too low. Uh, okay. Well, that was nice. Oh, look. Sorry, Smasher, get out of the way. I was trying to show them this. Look at this. We're in like some sort of like valley or canyon. It's like another, the hidden valley inside the hidden valley of Rivendell. Hidden Valleyception, right? Right? Oh man. Do you think this is where they got the idea for, for the salad dressing? Hidden Valley Ranch? Like somebody came here one time, they stumbled upon this hidden valley, uh, completely by accident. It was probably like one of those like uh, Narnia things, you know, they like walked through a wardrobe, but instead of going to Narnia, they went they went to Middle Earth and stumbled upon this hidden valley, and they're like, oh, that's a great name for a salad dressing. And then they just like made the most delicious salad dressing known to mankind, right? But of course, nobody ever puts it on their salad. They just use it to like, they they like use it for pizza, right? And the thing about that is like you know, because everyone does ranch and pizza, right? And I mean, pretty much everyone. And, and there's like those people, you know those people, they don't just dip their pizza in it. They use their pizza as like a utensil to scoop up the ranch. Because really, it's all about eating the ranch dressing. It's not the pizza. The pizza is just a tool. The pizza is just the, uh, the method, you know, the way to get the ranch into your mouth as fast as possible. <laughs> um, what are we doing? What are we even doing? Here I am talking about ranch and pizza. Um... We have no quests. We have no quests. We could go to the Misty Mountains. That may be a bit dangerous, though. I am not sure if we are quite ready for that yet. But I don't want to go back to these level 35 quests, either. Okay, I think I need to take a moment and uh, figure out what's going on and what we need to do. All right, everyone, I have made my decision. We are going to attempt to brave the dangers of the Misty Mountains. We are a little bit low. We're, we are just inches away from level 30, 38 inches. I say inches, centimeters, millimeters away from level 38. Gosh, it is a beautiful day, isn't it? Except for, oh, there it goes. That mountain was just kind of missing there for a second. Um, we're really close to level 38 and Misty Mountains is supposed to be level 39 through 50. Um, there are a lot of quests there, not not a ton, but there are a lot of quests there, and it's a big zone. 
Uh, and it's a lot of fun, and there's some cool stuff there, lore-related. Uh, as I think I've mentioned before, Goblin Town, of course, where Bilbo uh, and the dwarves went in The Hobbit. Uh, so it could be really exciting, actually. So we're going to head up there. We're going we're gonna to attempt it. Hopefully we're not trapped in Rivendell once again uh, in our invisible prison. Oh my gosh. This is the moment of truth, guys. This is it. Oh, big sigh of relief. We made it out once again. Smasher, we're okay. We're okay, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. Whoa. Whoa, boy. Calm down. There we go. We're out. We're free. And we are headed to the Misty Mountains. And we're going to talk to Glowing. Uh, so we can actually turn in our level 42 book quest. Uh, which is really kind of silly at this point, because we're, we're, we're just uh, under level 38. Um, but we're going to do it, and then, of course, uh, as we go, hopefully we will level up quickly, and uh, we can work on uh, the book quest more. And, of course, Bingo's quest as well. I think he probably comes up here. Th I have actually not gotten this far with Bingo yet, so I don't know what's actually uh, happening next. Um, oh, actually, he does go here, doesn't he? We need to defeat Snow Beasts and Snow Lurkers. Uh, we may actually be able to do this, and then it'll really jump up, I think, after that. Uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll decide what to do. For now, we'll just put this on our, uh, on our quest log. And here we go. We've left Rivendell behind. By trees. By green grass. We're here in the snow. Kirith Imladris. And look, we already have a quest available. It is level 40. <laughs> It's a little bit above us. That's fine. Also a deed. Find Whitcleft and Rachas Bazaar. We can definitely do that. Um, oh look, another. Level 40. Snow beasts, snow lurkers. Are these guys? Yeah, they're level 40. Okay, this says level 39 through 50. I thought there was going to be some level 39 quests here. Uh, if there's not, oh gosh, we'll have to decide what to do. We really will. Level 40, of course, um, there's lots of other stuff to do. I think we can go, we, I think we can actually go to Angmar at level 40. Uh, but, you know, Angmar is not a pretty place. Oh, look. Bert. Can I barter with you? Many fine items on offer. Oh, look at this! Look at all this stuff! Tome of the Light Brown Goat. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot! Okay. I picked up a brand new skill. And I've made a new friend. It's Hazel, the brown squirrel. Hazel is not the right name for you at all. How do we, um... How do I... Look, I need to... I cannot rename Hazel. Okay. Hazel it is, I guess. It looks kind of like a chipmunk, not so much a squirrel, right? Hazel? Oh, she's a beauty, isn't she? Oh, she's just adorable. She's gonna follow me around everywhere I go. Oh, that's great. Okay, we have a friend. We could also get a goat friend. Um, but for now, I think we'll stick with Hazel. But there's also some other cool stuff in here. Um, collected many fine items Bilbo's recommended travels. reading. Uh, maps of Bingo and the Trollshaws. Uh, mountain stone. Bracelets. Okay, we're not going to worry about that for now. We're going to pick up this uh, Stable Master location. There we go. And should we talk? Who's this? Malanthor? What can I do for you? Snow beasts are ferocious creatures that fight with tooth and claw on the high ridges. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Oh, look. Here he is. One of the fabled dwarves of Bilbo's journey, glowing. And he looks like he's having a great time, actually. And he is uh, astonishingly well-dressed, actually, too. I did not know that dwarves dress so well, glowing. But, um, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. And that big, bushy white beard also looks magnificent. Okay. Glowing. Oh, here we go. The Misty Mountains. There we are. Level 38. We have another deed. Complete quest in the Misty Mountains. Un Nazgul, one of the nine ringwraiths they spoke of at the Council of Elrond. I have not forgotten the honeyed word words conveyed through one of those writers to us back at the Lonely Mountain. Kind of stumbled through that. Such poison. They wished us to betray old Bilbo Baggins to Mordor. I'll help you as best I can, although Dane did task me with another matter. I can share some information, though. We also get an inscribed horn. 
which is cool. It's a pocket item. Welcome. You have come at a most fortuitous time. That's great, Gloin. So you say that Elrond mentioned goblins in his direction to come here? It doesn't surprise me. I ran into some troublesome goblins up here when I crossed the Misty Mountains in Thorin's Great Quest. Thorin's Quest? I guess it is Thorin's Quest. It is also Bilbo's Quest. Uh, that's... You know, it's interesting. The whole thing uh, with the Hobbit movies. I'm just going to take a moment to talk about this. Because it, it kind of bugs me. The Hobbit movies. First of all, there's three of them. I know a lot of people talk about this, probably complain about this. I loved the Hobbit movies. They were great. I don't think they were as good as the original trilogy movies, but they were good. They were entertaining. There was obviously some spots, uh, some things that they, you know, drastically deviated from the source material. Whatever. Whatever. I liked seeing Kate from Lost. It's always nice to see her. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's alright. That's fine. But it was just really weird because a lot of the time... In the movies, it felt like it was Thorin's quest. And of course, they were going to reclaim the mountain. I understand that. And the whole thing with the Arkenstone, very important. Right. But it was Bilbo. It was a, it was always about Bilbo. And it just felt very forced to me at some points. Um, I'm, I know I'm rambling. I'm rambling on and on. I just had to get that out. I had to get it out to somebody. Maybe you guys understand. Maybe you disagree. Whatever. Tell me what you think if you want to talk about it. I'm totally up for that. Okay, look, he's talking about the goblins. Slay this Gersmat, and the goblins will be in such disarray they won't present a problem to anyone. Gersmat, their leader. They've been chanting his name. Seek out the goblin fires to the north and east along the Pinneth Fenwi. I don't even know what you just said. And you'll likely find Gersmat holed up deep in one of the camps. Alright, we have to find a goblin camp. Hazel? Are you up for this, little girl? You ready? You ready to go on this journey? I don't quite know if I'm ready to go on this journey yet. Um, maybe we should just start by, like, killing a snow beast and see how we fare. Because, uh, I mean, uh, they're level 40 quests. Level 40 quests. Oh, look, here, here comes one right now. An elusive snow beast. No, come back! Look, he's so scared of me already. Oh, he's heard of me. He's heard word of the mighty Alcott. Burglar. Hobbit. And, uh, Slayer of Snow Beasts, right? Should we do it? We're gonna- we're gonna take him out. We're gonna do it. He's hiding in this tree. To no avail. Get over here. The big overgrown snowman, right? I don't know. Oh. He looks like he'd be blind or something, right? His eyes, you can't even see. You can't even see them. He did stun me, but, uh, look at that. He's already dead, Hazel. Look, she's chewing on his foot. Mmm, yummy. Uh, wow. Well, there you go. One out of eight. Um, these guys are not too tough. Huh. Well, I think this is probably a good place to stop. We've, uh, gained a new companion in our friend Hazel. And, of course, we have Smasher along, as we always have, for the ride. And, uh, apparently, we can take on these elusive snow beasts. They're not that tough. So I think we're gonna go for it. We are level 38, questing two levels above us currently. Uh, but I think it's gonna be good. It'll- I'm up for a challenge. I really am. And I think Al is too. And of course Hazel. And Smasher. And, uh, yeah, we'll come back. We'll slay some more snow beasts. We'll take on Gersmat. We'll also, like, find out what this snowy lynx is up to. And, uh, all sorts of other stuff. So, until then, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great night. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>